Hello, today we're going to be talking about this product right in front of you here. This is the Quaya Panted Dimmable Ring Light with Universal Phone Holder and Adjustable Tripod Stand. Now, I'm going to be unboxing this item and also uh, putting in the ring light together to show off you and also plugging it in, powering it up and letting you guys see the different modes and the light brightness. Before I begin, if you can hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner, the red button, that would be great. I'm trying to build on my subscribership. If I've added value with, to you with this video, please hit the like button and feel free to leave comments. I definitely like to respond to comments and hear what you have to say. Thank you. So let's get started. So it is the new uh, item that I have here. This is the front of it. This is the back of it. And as you can see, it has Quay at you know, its actual logo. So let me go ahead and open this, unbox it. Okay, so I unboxed it right here. I'll just show it all to you guys. So it comes in a nice black box. When you open it, it has your instruction book, it's very important. It's the Kiwaya Q3 Plus, that's what it's calling it. Also has pretty awesome thank you card, which also lets you know how to get a hold of them in case you need some customer support. Comes in a nice tissue. <laughs> and there's the ring light. And as you can see, the ring light is actually oval. It's not a, a circle. And then also uh, where you plug in your base of your um, phone holder stands, it's gonna be this piece right here. So you're gonna flip this out, okay? So the reason for this flip is because for Quaya, it allows you to actually tilt your light up to almost 90 degrees back and forth. And then of course, this is your power, your USB, along with a remote control. That's kind of your standard for all ring lights. Has your power in red, minus, plus for the brightness, and then the middle one is for the different modes. So let's put this aside. This is your tripod ball. So this ball right here, I assume is, this is where your um, phone holder rods will be going into, that long rod. And then these are for your tripod legs, these three legs, one, two, and three. Okay, this top piece. So they have this remote too. This is for iOS and Android only for you to actually do it, taking your pictures for a remote. Now, the, one of the things too about this item here is not only can you do it for a tabletop ring light, you can also do a, a ring light with a tripod light that goes up to 76 inches tall. And this is the piece that you'll need to stretch it out, the rod. This is the piece that will connect to your phone holder, is an attachment. So this is your phone holder. It's iPhones and Androids and a lot of other phones. And then this piece right here is the piece that will lock into your rod where you're going to have your um, tripod head and your base to allow you to have your phone. There's actually this piece too. This is the rod for the um, tabletop. And they also come with an outlet. So this is very unique. This one right here is your outlet where you can plug in your USB. A lot of these ring lights do not have this available. You have to buy your own outlet plug. So this one comes with it. So that's a plus definitely for this item here. And then they have these three bars for your tripod lights, which will go into the little tripod legs, the little holes that I showed you earlier, the three. So we'll be putting those on there. So that's it for this. And you can put the box away. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and just attach all these pieces together and let's see what we come up with.
So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your tri um, phone holder. And then you want to unlock this piece right here. So you can screw it. You can screw it a little bit and plug this in. But what I like to do is I like to unscrew it the whole thing. Then I put it back a little bit, twist it on, lock a little bit, and then put in the ball. And then I would tighten it. So that's what I like to do. So it's tight now. Now this piece right here, is, as I said, will go into the rod. So this piece right here is kind of the opening where you can actually stick the rod in. So like example, just your ring light for the table, you can stick this in there. Now this wire here is the lock. This right here is your piece for opening. As you can see, there's an opening right here. So when you open it, you're gonna lash the rod onto whichever tear you want to latch it on. You can latch it onto a third, second, fourth tear to lock it on so it holds. So I just want to share that with you guys. So this is the piece that actually connects your tabletop ring light. This is the base of the, the knob that goes into the tripod ball. So let's plug that in. And then this other piece right here, the top, will go into your ring light. So let's turn that in. Okay. And then let's tighten up the ball. Okay. So let's also give the, um, unlock the power so we can actually see the degrees. So it provides you the outlet plug. So you can just plug it into the wall like that. But since I already have an outlet plug on myself and a USB port, I'm just gonna plug the USB onto mine. Okay, so I already plugged it in there. Now the other thing I wanted to do is I wanna put the um, iPod, the tripod legs. So these are the legs. I'm gonna stick it into this tripod. There's three of them as I showed you earlier. So I just wanna show you guys why you guys can see right here. So it's the first one, boom, goes in there. Second one, boom, goes in there. And then the third one, then boom, goes in there. So I just wanna show you guys why I have it like this right here. I'm gonna lower it down. And then I'm gonna show you guys the remote. So I'm gonna power it on. So it's on right now. So let's see how many modes it has. One, this first mode, two, three. So this is probably your hot mode, your cool mode, and your medium mode. So the medium mode, let's go down 10 uh, brightness levels. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's increase by 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So as you can see, there's 10 brightness levels up and down, and there's three different modes. Now, I'm just gonna put this on top. It's still lighted. I'm actually gonna just leave this here like this. I just wanna show you guys something that, how to put in the phone holder now. So I have the tripod uh, ball right there. On top of it is where I'm gonna put the phone holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Grab this, and you see this opening right here? Right here? I'm gonna stick this in to this area here. Oops, almost dropped it. I'm trying to show you guys it. Let me get it closer then. Okay. Yeah, my screen's trying to fit it into the screen. All right, so let's get it in there. To show you guys. Okay, so it's in there now. So as you can see, I just want to show you guys. Let me just tilt this up a little bit more. So the head, as you can see, I want to make sure that I lock it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece right here. You see this piece right here? I got my finger. I'm going to lock it in as far as I can. And then I'm going to snap this piece in there. This piece right here. There we go. All right. As we can see, where they snapped in there. And then now I'm gonna put in my phone. So let me grab an old phone. 
And let me just show you guys how it looks like. So let me just go ahead and put it out here. Put the phone thing. And just The phone is a slide, so you just slide the phone open, and then there you go. So you have your phone there. So the great thing about this light is that because of its agility to go 90 degrees, you can bring it down, or you can bring it back 90 degrees. So that's the awesomeness of it, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, plug in these, this piece right here, which is your stretchable piece for up to 74, uh, 76 inches, and just give you an idea of how it works. So I'm gonna be unplugging all of this item. So let's just go ahead and unplug some of these items. Start with the phone. All right, take the phone out. Okay, and then I'm going to unplug the, the light. So let's take out the light. So as you can see, I'm leaving the light on, but security purposes wise, always turn off the light before you unplug. Just wanna let you guys know that. Safety purposes. Okay. So we have our ring light here. So what you would do is you're going to get this piece here, which is the stretchable piece, and you're just gonna twist it in. As you can see, and you can pull. So this allows you to stretch. So you see how long the stretch is? That's, that's the 76 feet that you can do with this. That's the great beauty of this. The great beauty about this product, this Quaz Quaya Q3 Plus, is that you not only do you get a plug for the wall jack, you get a tabletop ring light and you get an extendable ring light that actually has a tripod light that s stretches up to 76 inches. So that are some of the benefits of it. So that's my feedback about this item, this is the unboxing the item. So from my experience, opening a lot of uh, ring light products, unpackaging them, this is the first one which gives you a actual plug to with it and it also stretches open. Now, where can you get uh, Koya products? Uh, one place you can look to get it from is Amazon. They actually sell them too. So if you're interested in it, definitely take a look at it. Uh, that's a place to get them. The prices I've seen um, for some of the other products, I think there were like $25 USD around there for some of the other products that they have ring lights up there. But for this product, I didn't see it in there yet, but this is the Q3 Plus. So go ahead and take a look if you want. And once again, it's a ring light for tabletop and it's also a stretchable tall ring light that goes up to 67 inches. So that's this product right here. Um, for my feedback, my preview of it, um, this product is, is quite nice. The light is also very unique as you can see. Uh, as I said, there are some of the benefits to it. I'm gonna try this more. Uh, it comes with the remote too. So this product's all in all, I would use it for uh, starting out doing vlogs, blogs, uh, doing uh, cosmetics will also work, cosmetology. So there's a lot of use for it because it allows you to not only use it for the tabletop, but it allows you to put it on the side and have it rise up 76 inches. So if I've added value to you with this video, hit the like button, this definitely. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you very much. I am post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I look forward to sharing more with you.